Hello and welcome back to Epic Street. Today we're going to be taking a look at my screener and discuss and look at the coins or scout the coins that have the most potential uh, to trade this week. This is a continuation of the video that, that we did last Monday. So if you haven't checked that out, please go ahead and check it out. So before we actually get into the uh, the changes that I made to the screener, I want to direct your attention to the FX YouTube channel. If you enjoy the content that we put out, please make sure to head on over to YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button. If you you can also follow us on Twitter at FX as crypto, and if you like what I do, you can follow me on Twitter at Mangeko with a zero at the end. So back to the screener, right? So since the last video on Monday, I added the one day volume change, seven day volume change, social volume, one day and seven day change, and exchange inflow. Right, so volume from my standpoint is like extremely important, especially when you're a price action trader, right? And volume change can help you identify trends before they actually emerge on the price action. Or like not, not before, it's, it's not, volume is not a lagging indicator and it is neither a leading indicator, but you can look at the trends for volume and identify or like at least speculate and try to forecast the things that are going to happen, right? So or at least cast the trend early on, right? So what I'm gonna, what, I'm, what I've done right now is I've sorted the screener based on volume and you can see the, the first coin is Ucash for which the volume has increased 1000%. And then we have Bitcoin Dash, SXP, Bitcoin SV and so on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a look at Dash, SXP and Bitcoin SV because these are more relevant. So for Dash, you can see the price is already at 8% and volumes up 121% for the past 24 hours. You can see the same trend continuation for volume over the, over the past week, which is again, a good thing. Social volume has also risen uh, 33%, which is good. It's not bad. And if you want to know more about social volume is like, so very briefly speaking, social volume, uh, you can, with social volume, you can identify your local tops and bottoms. If the social volume has spiked considerably, uh, after an altcoin has rallied exponentially, then you can use social volume to kind of identify local tops. But if social volume spikes and the altcoin has dropped 80, 70, 90%, uh, then it could mark a local bottom and that the retail is interested in the coin again and that they're coming back. So right, you could, this could help you identify trends that are emerging and it, it could it could help you to give back a trend that's breaking out just now right so that is like a simple explanation of this uh, screener that i have here so for dash and bitcoin sv there's not a lot of on-chain volume to go on so we're going to take a look at these two coins from a technical perspective for sxp we're going to see if uh, uh, there, there's a uh, on-chain metrics right so for dash from a technical perspective so this is Dash, I'm going to take time frame. And to make things easier, I'm going to flip, I'm going to flip it to a line chart. And right off the bat, I can, I, I can see that Dash is forming a W bottom, which is a bottom reversal pattern. And the reason why I'm confident why this is a bottom reversal pattern is a look at the trend for Dash, which as you can see here, it, it's dropped considerably over the past few months. And if you actually measure that, it's dropped 80% over the past, since May, yeah, since May, which is almost a year, 320 days, right? So I'm, I'm confident in this pattern working out, kind of similar to what you saw here. In fact, it's extremely similar to what you saw here. So price from below, although it dipped a little below this uh, previously formed low, the price rallied higher, right? Now you're seeing something similar. Right, so I'm, I'm confident in uh, this pattern working out. So, which is why I'm gonna mark out this resistance level here, which is where the price has hit a resistance uh, on 8th Feb, 9th Feb, and also on 16th Feb. If you look at it from a candlestick perspective, we can see the price press rejection here, and the candlestick body is closed below $116 support level. Even on March 12th, 20th, after the price rallied roughly 12%, price value roughly 12%, uh, the candlestick body closed below that, which is an indication that there are sellers here. So unless we get a flip of this resistance level, there's no point in longing because the price could 
eventually come down, right? So I'm going to wait for a flip of 116 to support level. Once we get that, I'm going to long the coin with my stop loss around below these wicks here at $91 and take profit. So yeah, as for take profit, I would, yeah, I would do something like this, uh, 152 resistance level. Price found some, some sort of an equal highs around here, 155. This is where I'm going to be booking profits. From a conservative standpoint, like I'm a conservative trader, I don't like to risk a lot. So this is a really good trade I would be willing to take, right? Although I would probably go uh, go in a lower time frame and refine my entries. I think this is a pretty good trade, right? From, if you want to play it a little risky and you want to hold on to this position for quite some time, then I believe the next level would be somewhere around here, which is 209. Or you could also preemptively book profits at $175. Right, so actually, you know what, forget this. This is a good level to take profits. These are the two good levels to take profits. Once we get a flip of 116 resistance level into a support level, you could long the coin and book profits at 155 and $175, which would give you a 1.59 and a 2.36 power trade anywhere from a 33% to 50% upswing on the horizon for Dash. So that pretty much concludes uh, Dash and why you should probably add it to your list and keep an eye on it and see how it reacts around this resistance level 116. Right, so moving on, we have, we're have we done with Dash. Now let's take a look at Bitcoin SV. So let me start fresh. A lot of altcoins have this massive downtrend with like no seemingly no uptrend in sight, right? And a lot of altcoins now are, are breaking out and that's exactly what I see here for Bitcoin SV, right? After roughly 128 days downtrend or roughly four months downtrend, the price has finally breached this uh, resistance level and now it's moving higher, right? So it's time to head on into a lower time frame and refine our entries, right? So as you can see here, price formed equal lows around here. So there is liquidity resting below this. I'm not saying the price is going to come down and collect liquidity, but it is something that you should have it in the back of your mind. So if the price ever does come down there, I'm not saying it will, but if it does come down here, uh, you are going to be ready and not be panicking. So yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my FIB extensions to draw FIB ranging from $76 to the swing high here at 87.93. And I would be looking to enter long positions at any of these three levels here at $79, $80 and $81. So these are the levels where I would be entering long. So If you do enter, if you do get a retracement to these levels, any of these levels, I, I don't care if it's 70.5, I'm not going to wait for 79. Uh, actually, what I'm going to start entering positions around 50% retracement level here at 82. Probably going to add, so if I was, if I were to enter a $100 long position for BSV, I would enter, I would, I would open a $20 position here, $20 position here, and then another 20 here will be a $60 position. If the price reverses, well and good. I'm going to add another 20, uh, probably around the retest of this uh, range high. So assuming we get this, I'm going to put my stop losses around here, right? A good place to book profits. If you just eyeball it, there's an equal high. That was from 106. That's where I would be booking profits. Again, this is an extremely greedy uh, levels of book profits. So what I would do is instead I would look at take a look at this swing high and I would be booking profits around here which is uh, 90 91 dollars 90 90.9 dollars either way you're looking at anywhere from 12 percent to a 31 percent upswing for Bitcoin SV. So yeah, that pretty much sums up for uh, sums up the analysis for Bitcoin SV. Uh, the last coin that we have for discussion is 
swipe. Right, so again, let's go to daily time frame, switch to a line chart. And as you can see here, you are gonna see a similar trend. The price has been on a downtrend for quite some time. Right, but for swipe, I am kind of looking at this falling wedge pattern here, which is really interesting. So what I would do is measure the profits from here. You see a 38% downswing global label. So the theoretical targets, targets forecasting method suggests that you measure the downswing of the first swing high and the first swing low, and then you add it to a breakout point, right? Obviously, you're, you're not, you don't know where the breakout point is going to be. You're just going to eyeball it. And if you use that, a 38% upswing would put swipe at $2, right? So pretty uh, good trade. 38% downswing. Again, I'm going to move on to a lower time frame. Take a look at this last particular swing here. I'm going to use my fib extensions. Right? I'm not going to use uh, the swing high because it's kind of like an anomaly. So I'm going to use uh, $1.5 where a lot of cluster fix were formed. Right? So with that in mind, I'm, going to, I'm expecting the price to head down to any of these three levels here at $1.25, $1.28, and $1.31. I'm going to enter at any of these levels. Right, so assuming we do at 70.5 retracement level, which is 1.28, this would provide me with a good 58% upswing. And I would place my stop loss around swing low, which would give me a 6.53 R trade. Right, again, uh, this is a good trade. It's uh, it's a little risky, right? Uh, all the trades that I'm explaining here is a little risky considering how uncertain the, the future for Bitcoin is. So that's that's one thing that you have to keep in mind when uh, looking at altcoins and trading. You always have to keep an eye on Bitcoin and how it's going to react. So right now, Bitcoin is looking a little bullish, which is why I'm expecting uh, these pumps to happen. So yeah, that pretty much sums up uh, my analysis for a swipe. BSV and Dash based on the screener. If you have any doubts, please make sure to turn over uh, and comment below the videos. I'm gonna try to answer them. And if you enjoyed this session, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.